Yo, guys, guys, yo, yo, did you guys hear about DaVinci Resolve 18? I'm sure you did. Today, we're going to talk about Fairlight stuff. You want to hear about Fairlight stuff? Yo, man, I did. I heard about 18. I can't wait to check it out. Sounds awesome. All right, we're talking about Fairlight because there's some awesome new features here, and we got to get into Fairlight. it. Fairlight. Now, we got to get back to the studio quick. The quickest way I know to do that is I've seen some YouTubers do this. I think if I just jump, boom, we can be there. Let's try it. Ready? Wait, wait, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Let me try it again. Wait about my shoes here. All right, ready? Oh, oh, dude, that was sweet. Did you guys see that? That was awesome, man. I got to do that a little more often. What a ride. Woo. Today, let me bring you in a little closer here. Today we are gonna be jumping into Fairlight in DaVinci Resolve 18. I am super excited because if you guys have been around my channel a little while, you know, love me some good audio, right? Audio is super important in your video. So super excited about the updates here in Fairlight. I've got 10 updates, 10, woo, 10, that we're gonna take a look at real quick. I'm not gonna go too in depth, but I'm just gonna share the ones that I think will be most valuable to you guys. Uh, as you know, YouTubers, as content creators, or just working on your own projects. There's a lot more stuff in here that's packed in, but these 10 things are the things that I think are gonna be most useful for the most amount of people. So with that said, I am super excited, obviously jazzed up. I'm from Jersey. I'm always excited here. I know, I know, I know. I hear them, I hear them comments all the time, but that's all right, I still love you guys. So let's jump into Resolve and go over these 10 features that I think are just awesome here in DaVinci Resolve. Fairlight. Let's get into it. So the first one, number one here, is the ability to quickly turn on and off your dynamics. Look at this. You just come to your mixer. So make sure you got your mixer open here. You can come to your dynamics and you could just click on it and it turns it on and off. That's really sweet. You used to have to go in, turn on the little toggle, turn them off for, you know, your gate, your expander. So let me open this up. You used to have to turn these guys on and off, which, you know, didn't take that long, but it's not as easy as the one click option. If we just click, click, turns it on and off. So that's number one. That is super sweet because sometimes you like to hear a little before and after. So that's the first one. Being able to turn your dynamics on and off just by clicking on it and going in with that number one, I'm going to call it 1A, 1B here. You can come and do the same thing with your EQ. Just click on it. And if you see that the line is not blue, like it is right here or like it's not right now, then it's turned off. Click it and then it'll turn the EQ back on. And that's great because you want to see the before and after sometimes just to know what's the difference, right? How are my changes working out? If I double click on the EQ here, I can come in here and turn it on and off and that works out pretty good too. Now, while we're in the EQ, let's move to number two. Number two is that they actually added in some EQ presets. So I've got some of my presets here, uh, pack number two, EQ presets, pack number two coming out soon if you're interested in that. Stay tuned for a video on that. Also have EQ preset pack number one. But it's nice that they added in some presets for us. So if I scroll to the top, we have dialog clean, add high end, uh, female lav mic, male lav finisher, general. Um, you've got some different options here on presets. And I think that's great. They should have added these in a long time ago, in my opinion. That's why I made some presets. But give them a try, see how they work out. And uh, if they don't work out, maybe you want to head on over, support my channel, pick up my presets. But it's nice that you've got the option there. You can use some presets that are built in here in Resolve. Now, while we're in here, I'm going to go, uh, we'll make that a 2A, and then here's a 2B for you, is that you can come and hover over any one of your points here that you want to adjust, and you used to have to come down here and to adjust the Q factor, for example, if I pull this up, the Q factor affects the shape of the curve that's coming into uh, the point that you're adjusting. So I'm at a given frequency here. I'm at uh, 256 hertz, looks like. Now, if I, I can do this, you know, with the Q factor here on the bottom. But now, really cool thing is you can use your middle mouse wheel right here to change that Q factor. All you have to do is hover your mouse over top of the number and roll, scroll your mouse wheel in and out, and it's going to allow you to change that Q factor. So it's real cool. Just kind of add some functionality to working with the EQ here. And uh, you guys might know if you've seen some of my videos, I love the EQ, man. It can really make a huge difference in your audio to really help shape your sound, sculpt it, and make it sound better. So that's a cool one. I like that. I'm going to call that 2A and 2B here. Now, closing that, while we're talking about some built-in presets that they've included, let's jump into our dynamics. Now, I'm just going to open up one on a, a track that I don't have anything set on here. They gave us some presets here for our dynamics. So if you're a little confused, you don't know how all these things work, no worries. You can pick a preset here that they've included in DaVinci Resolve 18. And again, I think this is something that should have been included a long time ago. But if you click the little drop down, we've got dialogue compression. We've got 
a dialogue a basic, a leveler with the expander, full expander, different options here. So you can pick these different things and give them a try and see how they work out on your clips. It's a great place to start if you're not familiar with all the, the knobs, the buttons, the, the dials and all that. Although I do have videos on all that stuff explaining everything and breaking it down for you. And we're going to be making some more because there's some new tools here that you can use in the Dynamics panel. But if you don't want to worry about all that, just pick one of these presets, give it a try and see how it works out. So that's number three. And I'm going to go ahead and make that a 3A because we've got some more things here. I'm going to go 3B is if we come down here into our compressor section, we now have a knee knob, which if I crank this up and down, you're going to see right in this area right here, it is going to change uh, the angle. So it goes from a sharp angle there, which is the only option we used to have before DaVinci Resolve 18 to being able to kind of smooth that out. And what that does is it eases into that compression a little bit more as opposed to hitting a point and then boom, applying the compression. So that just kind of helps sculpt the audio a little bit more. So that's kind of cool. I like that we've got that. And then also uh, we'll go uh, 3C here. I'm going to call the mix 3C. So mix is, can we blend some of the compression back in with the original sound? That's what the mix is going to do. And you've got the option to change that if you want. So just more options on how we can sculpt the sound here using the dynamics. Now, just for fun, I'm going to go with a, uh, what are we on? A four, did I say four, three, C, D, three D. I think it's three D. If I get my numbers messed up, man, I apologize. I'll put it in there when I'm editing. But three D here, if I play through this, let me just uh, bring up the audio of this particular track because right now, I have it muted, but let me bring this up a little bit. I'm going to just solo this track. Now watch on the uh, dynamics here. When I play through it, I'm actually just going to mute it here in Resolve so that, uh, that you can hear me talking. But look, when we play through, look at this. This graph is telling us all kinds of good stuff here. Uh, we're playing this track one uh, right here, SF, which is screen flow. And it's showing you where the audio is coming, right? So let's just make some adjustments here. If I bring this down, let's crank that down. We can see where it's going to be applying in this case, our compression, we can see where the, the different audio is happening. It's really cool. And see, we can sculpt this a little bit. We can mix it back into the original sound a little bit. But it's really cool that they give you this kind of graphical representation of what's going on with your dynamics. Really cool. I like that. I think it can help you make some adjustments along the way. So uh, very cool and uh, really great features here for the dynamics. Again, we'll jump into this more in other videos with examples so you can hear differences and things like that. But really cool, some extra things here they added in the dynamics. All right, number four is something that comes in real handy and I don't think this is new, but um, they're saying that it's new and it's maybe it's because you can move buses as well as tracks, but that is being able to move tracks and buses here in Fairlight without having to right click on a clip. For example, if we come here, you don't have to right click on here, move track up, move track down. You don't gotta do any of that. What you can do is come on up to the index here, and now you can see all of your tracks as well as your buses, and you can drag them in any order that you want. Now, you used to be able to move the tracks anyway. I don't think you could move the buses, but now you can move everything, and it makes it real easy just to come in here, drag your clip around, move, move your tracks wherever you want, and that way you don't have to move things up and down. You can just drag them around here. It's super quick and super easy. So that's number four. Great new feature here, especially if you have a lot of tracks and you want to rearrange stuff and move things around. All right, number five here in Fairlight is a cool feature, and that's the ability to easily and quickly rename your audio clips. Now, sometimes you might record directly into Resolve and you get this weird funky name, or at least I do. Or maybe you've got sound effects or something that it's not clear on what it is and you want to be able to just uh, clarify what that clip is. So when you look at the timeline, you're like, oh, that's uh, my crowd cheering or whatever, you know, that's my uh, voiceover. So if we just come in here and we just double click on any one of our clips, we're going to get this clip attribute window and you can change the clip name right here to be whatever you want. So keep that in mind. You can double click on the clip and change the name of the clip. I don't think it changes the actual file name. I think it just changes the click na clip name. I could be wrong on that, but either way, it's kind of a cool option to have. Number six is pretty cool and I think it could come in pretty handy sometimes. And that is the ability to nudge one of your clips here in Fairlight by less than a frame. So this is kind of cool. Check this out. So in Fairlight or in even just the edit tab, you can always select a clip and use your period and comma keys to bump it one frame to the left, one frame to the right. And we've always had the option and ability to do that. But now we can bump it by even less if we want to do that. So in order to set those settings on how much we're going to nudge a clip, come on up to DaVinci Resolve Preferences. 
So in preferences here, you can change the audio subframe nudge. So subframe is going to move the audio even less than the one frame. So you can set it to whatever you want. And here by default, it's five milliseconds. You can set it to subframes if you want. I'm just going to leave it on the default right now. And uh, I'm just going to cancel out of here. So how do I use it? Well, I don't think there's a keyboard shortcut by default. At least on my machine, it doesn't look like there is. Could be wrong. Uh, but I'm going to select the clip and I'm going to come up to trim down to nudge. And right here we have subframe sub frame left and subframe right. And that's going to just bump it a little. Watch. So watch the clip here. If I hit left, boom, look at that. It goes just a little bit. In contrast, if I use the period key, see how much it uses when I use the period and comma key? A lot more. So I'm sure you can assign a keyboard shortcut to that to nudge it as those little milliseconds if you want, uh, which could come in handy when you're trying to line stuff up with a beat or something, or you just can't get it in the right spot. This is going to help you do that. It's going to help you get that audio exactly where you want it. So pretty cool feature here. I'm pretty sure you can assign a shortcut to it and uh, something I might be using in the future. So the next one that's pretty cool that I think is handy, uh, I haven't tried it out a whole ton yet, but I'm going to be trying it out. And that is when you stretch out your audio, there's improved quality. So in the past, you stretch out that audio or you change the speed of it. It gets a little, yeah, a little wonky sounding, right? Kind of sounds funky. Supposedly in the DaVinci Resolve 18 here, they improved that quality. So for example, if I'm using something like uh, Elastic Wave, right? I'm going to right click on my clip here and I'm going to choose Elastic Wave. And let's say maybe I need to stretch it out a little bit. You know, I'm stretching it out. It may sound a little weird, but supposedly in 18 here, it's going to sound better. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to try this out too much yet, but I will be getting in there to try this out and see how well does it actually work. We're going to do a video on that another time, but I just want to let you know now that that feature is here. I like it. I think it's cool and it's going to be helpful when we're trying to speed up, slow down clips and things like that. So that's a good, so I think that's a great new feature that's here in Resolve 18. All right, so this next one is pretty cool. It may come in handy if you've had older projects that you are, uh, you know, maybe working on in a newer version of Resolve. So Resolve has a flexi bus system. Now, what does that mean? It means that when you're creating buses here in DaVinci Resolve, you can essentially create a bus that can do a whole multitude of different things. Whereas in the past, Resolve used to have a certain set of buses and only a certain number of buses you could use, like auxiliaries or um, what else did they have? They had auxiliaries, they had the main, they had uh, a subgroup, um, and you only had a certain amount of those that you could use. And that's called legacy busing system is what they call it now. Because most of the time, you don't need to use that. It's easier just to go with the new FlexiBus system. And I think that's the default for all your new projects anyway. But if you have an old project, check this out. I got an old project here. This is how to put transitions on multiple clips. An old Quick Tip Tuesday from... 2020 in July. If I wanted to convert this into the new FlexiBus system for some reason, uh, right now I can see because it has the M1 here, I know main one, that's what they used to call it. Now it's bus one, but I want to update it. So if I come into my project settings and I come into Fairlight, I can see right here, I'm using the fixed bus mapping for the project. So let's say I want to update that. If I turn that off, I'm going to go ahead and get this message here, convert to FlexiBus. So like I said, FlexiBus is how everything is set up now. It's probably honestly a better way to go. I would just stick with the new stuff. Like don't be stuck in the past. Come on up into the future. We got FlexiBus, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hit convert and it's going to go ahead and convert it into the new FlexiBus system. You should be good to go. And it should look like your newer projects are when you start working in Resolve on a new project. All right, guys. So I don't know how many that I went through there. I mean, I had some A's and B's and whatever. It's just something like 10. I don't know. But that is some of the big updates here in Fairlight. Some of the features that I'm excited about that I think would be most useful for you guys. Jump in there. Try these things out. I'm going to be making videos on all this stuff a little more in depth and how it works with exam samples, you know, my usual style, just to help you guys understand what's going on, how to use it, what the knobs, buttons, and dials mean, because I love me some good audio, and uh, saved you guys the time of reading that big old manual, right? So, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, so that you get notified when I make more videos about all this stuff. I'm going to be jumping into the other tabs here, hopefully making a little video about each tab and, and some of the new features that are there that I'm excited about. And then as time goes on here, we'll dig more into it and uh, really get into DaVinci Resolve 18, figure out the ins and outs, all the cool stuff. And I'm just excited to be working in this program, man. Blackmagic Design, thank you guys so much. You do an awesome job. 
with this program, keeping it updated, giving us new features, giving us things that we want. I mean, what more could you ask for? Even with the studio version at 295 or whatever it is. I think it's 295. I mean, come on, one-time fee. We're getting all these upgrades. Black Magic, really appreciate all that you do. So with that said, guys, thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one and trying out some more of these DaVinci Resolve 18 features. Hey, like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.